Greetings, I want to help you fix the Samsung Galaxy Tab where the screen is no longer responding. It could be a pretty quick, uh, simple fix, but I'm here to help you with that. First of all, if it's a new tablet or if someone else had it, check the sides of it and make sure there's not a screen protector on it. Um, it should be pretty easy to see. Just see if you can pull up any plastic that would go over it. So sometimes there is a screen protector and that would make you not be able to use it. Get a, uh, force it down, but get it like a cotton swab or microfiber cloth and clean it really good. Don't use any liquids and see if that will fix the issue. A lot of times that will make it lock. Look at the, the buttons here on the side, the power button and the, and the uh, volumes, and I want you to firmly press them back and forth over and over again because it could be that one of these buttons are locked up. They might be on the top here. See if that will fix the issue if the screen is locking. Now, if you've tried all that, next thing I want you to do is do a force restart on it. So it's different than a regular reset. You're just gonna hold down the volume down button and the power button at the same time. You'll have to hold it down for about 30 seconds. Don't let go. And then do a force restart on there and see if that will fix the issue. A lot of times that will fix the issue. Let's go ahead and power it down for now. Okay. And what I want you to do from here is I want you to clean the cache, wipe the cache. And in order to do that, while it's powered off, what I want you to do is hold down the power and the volume up button this time. Just hold them down like that until you get to a bio screen. You want to see a Samsung logo. I'm going to have to try again. Push down. And then when you see the Samsung logo, let go of the power while still holding down to the volume up button. It's going to take you to a Google recovery screen. It's going to take you to this screen right here. And you're going to use the volume up and the volume down to go down to where it says wipe cache partition and that's basically just your it's not a factory reset it's like your your front memory and then click power to hit enter it'll take you back to the screen and then what you could do is you go you can go back up to reboot bootloader and that'll take you back to the home screen see if that will unfreeze your screen a lot of times that will do the trick um, and then next thing I want you to do is go into safe mode. So to do it to safe mode, you want to power it back off. And to do it under safe mode, instead of power and uh, volume up, you would do volume down and the power at the same time. Hold it down until it goes into safe mode. And then it should say safe mode on the bottom and then see if, if your screen is responding. If it is, it might be just a recent app that you installed. If I didn't explain it good enough, you can Google how to uh, restart your uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab in safe mode and then uninstall uh, any new apps that you put in there because that might be freezing it up for whatever reason. Now, after you've done that um, and you've tried everything else, safe mode, all that, want you to do a factory reset. So go back to here, and you remember how to do that? You just do uh, power it down, go to volume down, hold volume down, power at the same time till you get to this BIOS Android recovery screen. And this time you'll go down to wipe data factory reset. That'll make it like it's brand new out of the box. It'll wipe out your pictures, your videos, all that stuff. So just remember, it's like you're making it brand new and you will lose all your data and all that stuff, but it will be like it's out of the box. Hit power to go ahead and reset it. Make sure it's plugged in. Make sure it's powered up to 50%. And take about 30 minutes, maybe less. And that should fix your issue. Now, if you've done all that, um, last case scenario, it's called, it's called the uh, nuclear option, is to actually put it in a freezer overnight. Again, power it off. Just doing this for demonstrations. 15, 15 hours, 12 hours, 
<clears throat> this is when you have nothing else to lose. It's not under warranty any longer. You're ready to chuck it in the trash can. Keep it in the freezer for several hours. Take it back out, let it go to room temperature, 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Don't plug it in until it's completely at room temperature. And then turn it on, then see if the screen responds. But I don't think you'll have to get to this point. I think you'll, something I showed you will fix the issue. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe.